Hey everyone, this video today is gonna to be a really simple video just to show you how to import presets, how to export presets, and generally how to navigate the new Tonex 1.6 software. Uh, there's nothing that huge got released in this new 1.6, but just in general, how to import and export and how to just navigate the software a little bit. The difference between tone models and presets and uh, how to get things on your pedal and all that. So let's dive in. So let's just start by importing a preset. So open your Tonex software and right here on the top left says my preset. Just single click this and a drop down window will appear and you can say import preset. So click import preset and then navigate to the preset that you would like to import. In my case, I'm going to grab my brand new matchless Clubman capture pack and we will just import all of these uh, V1 captures. Now, it's going to tell me, are you sure you want to override it? It already exists. Yeah, that's fine, uh, because I do already have them in my library. Now, so what just happened is those got imported into my preset library as well as my tone model library. Now, before I talk about exporting presets, we need to just touch on the difference between a preset and a tone model. Um, so right here, if you're on the Home tab here, and you're looking at this window, all of these right here are tone models. And the difference between a tone model and a preset gets a little confusing. I think of tone models as uh, the, the sort of the, the core basic essentials of the capture that you can then tweak the, the gain bass mid treble, you can tweak noise gate, compressor, reverb, advanced parameters. But as you tweak those things, those are global controls that will affect all the other tone models that you're previewing or you're trying out, which you may or may not want. A preset, however, is a pre-configured uh, tone model paired with a particular noise gate, compressor, amp, cab, reverb, advanced parameters, all those things kind of baked in. So when you save a preset, all those controls get uh, get baked into that preset. And as you're scrolling through presets, all of those parameters could change. But when you're browsing through tone models, these become global. I know that's a little bit confusing, um, but that's just how it works right now. So let's just talk quickly about organizing your tone models and your presets. So like I said, I just imported this matchless Clubman pack. And you can see it uh, it imported into here. Now let's let's organize by name so that I can see this a little bit more clearly. Now I would highly recommend that you set up user folders uh, in both this window and in the preset window, which I'll show you in a moment. And I've already done that, so I've set one up for Alter Amp Works, Tone Factor, Tone Junkie, Tone Shepherd, Worship Tutorials. Easy enough to add a new folder, name it however you want, and then. Uh, come up here to my tone models for the ones specifically that you have imported. You can uh, click one, hold shift, and select multiple and drag them in a folder. Uh, that comes in handy uh, in a lot of different ways. So just I just encourage you to make those folders and make them useful for you. You can also make uh, favorites, which I would highly recommend as well. Again, it just makes kind of the workflow a little bit easier. So when you're auditioning things, uh, star the ones you really like, then you can come up to this favorites tab right here and look at all of your favorite uh, tone models. Now, again, we are working in the tone model window. And so let me demonstrate something for you right here. So we're gonna look at some of these tone models right here. Now, like I said, I can tweak these settings in the tone model right here. Let's just say I, I crank up the bass. Let's be, let's exaggerate. Uh, uh, crank up the gain, the bass, and let's throw some reverb on and let's make it dramatic so we can notice it. All right, not a sound that I would dial in, but you get the idea. If I navigate to any of my other tone models, it's going to keep those settings because these are global settings. Now, for me and my purposes, this isn't all that useful. I don't really want to audition all these different tone models that way. I want, just for me and my workflow, I want to audition 
uh, the presets, uh, the predetermined settings that that the that the capture maker intended for their tone model. And so this is not really the way that I would want to navigate it. But just so you know, that is how this is set up in this first tone model view. Okay, so now go to the top left of the ToneX software window, click this icon right here. This gets you into the preset library, which is different from a tone model. If I grab my AC30 Clean V1 right here, you'll notice it doesn't have reverb on it. Um, all of the settings on that particular preset are the settings that I exported it at, the settings that I intended for the user to hear, right? I did not include reverb on purpose. I have the knob set in a particular way on purpose. So this is you hearing uh, what the creator initially wanted you to hear. Now, sometimes the initial creator wanted you to hear a little bit of reverb or some other things. For example, Worship Tutorials does have a few of their captures with a little bit of reverb and some adjustments. So you can see this Sir Badger has some reverb on it. This uh, Texas one has some reverb. Now, not all of them from Worship Tutorials do. This Two Rock Bloom does not have reverb on it. All that to say, for me personally, I prefer to work in this preset window when kind of exploring uh, different presets that I have purchased from different people just so that I can hear exactly what they wanted me to hear. Now, where the tone model idea does come in handy, um, and I'll show you an example of something I'm actually going to do. So on one of my uh, captures in particular, let's open this up so I can see it better. Um, it's this Edge of Breakup G12M V1. Something that I would like to do to this one that I've already kind of tested with my rig is I want to take this and I want to clean it up a little bit more. And so what you do, so you grab this preset right here, close the preset list. Now I'm, I'm here now and you can see there's no reverb on it. All of the settings are at noon. That's the way it was intended. Now this is a little bit of a bummer because you can't see the full name in here. So that's why if you if you navigate to the preset window, you can see the full name. Make, make sure you're uh, selected on that. You could see this name changes up here. So I'm just going to make sure I'm on the edge of breakup V1 right here. Then I'll close this. Then I, I am right here as a matter of fact. So what I'd like to do is I want to reduce the gain to let's say uh, 3.5. And then I want to increase the volume to 8 to compensate for that. Now essentially that makes it more of a, a clean pedal platform. But because it was captured with a little bit more grit to begin with, this is going to compress more than a purely clean capture. And so that's what I'm going for. And so I like those changes. I want to export that. Now, how do you export this? So now that you've made those changes uh, and you have this selected, this little star shows you that you have a preset that's been altered. Now you can click this icon right here and that will save that preset. So save this, basically it'll save your uh, the settings that you have just tweaked here into a preset. So this is a tone model that has been tweaked. Now you're going to make it a preset. So click this window. Now I'm going to name this clean two because I already have a clean capture. Now this is going to be a different sort of a clean. It's clean but with more compression because it started dirty and I cleaned it up. Uh, that's probably for a different video uh, but that's a tip that uh, I'd highly recommend you try out. So I'm going to save that. Now that became its own preset. Now down here uh, this is still the tone model uh, so uh, of that edge of breakup. To get to that preset, we're going to have to come back to the presets up here, and you can see it's been saved as CLN2. And so now I have uh, essentially this edge of breakup and this clean 2, which started as the edge of breakup and just cleaned it up. 
My goal with this is that it would sound very similar to my clean, uh, this one right here. But this uh, capture is going to compress a little bit more. Uh, and for my purposes, I, I wanted that for, for my rig. So let's say I like that. In the preset window, you're here. Uh, click this again and say export preset. And then I'm going to drop it in my matchless folder, V1 right here. So now I have my clean and then clean two. Now likely I might just rename this to clean one and then uh, just include a little bit of info about why I did that in my readme file. But that's uh, for a different conversation. So that's how you import and export a preset and that shows you a little bit of the differences between a tone model and a preset. Now, uh, I would highly recommend that you also create user folders for your presets. Now you'll notice that right here, user folders, I have Alter Ampworks, Tone Factor, Tone Junkie, Tone Shepherd, Worship Tutorials. If I go into my preset tab, again, this is the difference between tone model tab and clicking here is the preset tab. I have the same user folders, but that's just because I made those same user folders. These are a different set of user folders. So I'll just show you by example. Uh, I'll, I'll do a test folder. I'll create that. So now I have a test in here. If I exit out of uh, the preset view, you will not see that test folder in this tone model view. So there's a separate folder for tone models and for presets. Again, possibly a little bit confusing, maybe redundant. I don't know. There's probably a good reason for that uh, that others may have explored. But just so you know, um, I would recommend you create folders for both and just keep things clean and organized. And that way, when you're coming over to the librarian, and this is where you'll actually put these presets onto your pedal, you can uh, just know that there, when you come to the librarian, this is all the stuff that's on my pedal right now, you can uh, sort between presets and tone models right here. So your presets, you have all your user folders, you can say Tone Shepherd and that clean two uh, that, that just got in there, you could take this and drag this right in there and that will make, that will replace that edge of breakup capture with my new clean two capture. Now, uh, the new uh, firmware update 1.6 did give you this ability. If you go to ToneNet right here, you wanna search uh, presets and tone models available online. You can now just drag and drop these right onto your pedal. I believe that's a new feature, uh, just so you know that that's there. But you just click on this ToneNet button to kind of log on uh, to the ToneNet account and you can search um, and all that. There's other videos that uh, talk about all that. But just so you know, when you're in the librarian mode, you, you do have presets and tone models. Now, uh, the interesting thing is if you grab a tone model and you drag this in here, and let's say, you know, you have settings tweaked like this, gain in volume, it is not going to take those settings and put them on your pedal. So if I'm on the tone model tab here and I grab this one and drag it in, just because I'm on the tone model does not mean that it's going to take these settings, which is kind of weird. But for me personally, I would just say I'm just going to default to the preset tab. So because I just know for sure that all of these presets are presets that are designed by the manufacturer mm. and meant for me to listen to them. <laughs> As is right so I hope that just gave you a little bit more understanding into how the tone X software works I know that IK is continually working on this software and hopefully maybe if we keep pushing maybe we'll get an actual editor where we can actually edit the pedal itself but if you have any questions on how to navigate the software feel free to drop a comment I'd love for you to check out my website as well at thetoneshepherd.com you can follow me on Instagram at thetoneshepherd and uh, I'm, I'm heavily involved in the praise and worship community if that interests you and I have uh, presets for sale uh, Strymon presets, Pog presets, Microcosm presets coming soon 
uh, have a whole bunch of presets for Tonex as well. So love for you to check that out. Uh, if you like this video, like it, subscribe if you want to do that as well. And uh, here you can check out some of my other content. But thanks again for checking this video out, and we'll see you in the next video.